Hey everybody, today I got a tutorial for you guys on how to use your selection tools in Adobe Photo Selection Tools in Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. So we got our quick selection tool that you can use. You got your magic wand, you got your magnetic lasso tool, and I'm gonna teach you guys about the polygonal lasso tool. So this is the image we're gonna be making here. Um it's just using different um veggies from this picture right here. Sorry. Um, different veggies and um, fruits and that kind of thing to um, make this cool looking uh, guy here with the bow tie and hair and that so I uh, hope you guys enjoy <coughs> so let's get started by um, creating a new document I just made my normal paper size okay so that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the melon part the head part. So we're going to use our uh, magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to click and drag around. And what the magnetic lasso tool does is it brings your selection just to the outside of whatever you're trying to select. It basically uses it, uh, Photoshop's uh, brains and that and puts it to work to make the selection what it thinks you're trying to select here. So I see I made a bit of a boo-boo by an accident. It usually doesn't do that. It was just my bad here. So I'm just going to add that to selection with a quick selection tool. Perfect. So I'm going to press Control c go into the other document, and press Control v Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, quickly here grab my move tool. And I'm just going to resize this image here to a good size for a head. Um, so I kind of want it to be something like that. Maybe just a bit smaller so I can fit my big ears that I'm going to be putting on there. Um, that looks good like that. So then now let's go and grab our eyes, which are going to be blueberries. So I'm going to press Control D to deselect that after every selection I make in this tutorial. Because... Um, if you don't press Control D, um, it will select what you're selecting this time plus what you had selected last time, and then um, you'll be bringing things into the document that you don't need. So for the blueberry, there wasn't really anything you could use. Like you could try and use. Actually, I never tried this. I just thought of it now. Using the quick selection tool, making the exact same size of the blueberry, and just clicking like that. Actually, it works better than this thing I was using. So let's control C that and I'll bring that into the other Photoshop document. I grab my move tool by pressing V on the keyboard or clicking on it. So that's a little big there. Something like that seems good. I'm gonna position that uh, somewhere right around here. Maybe just actually make it a bit smaller. Just a bit smaller. Okay, now I'm gonna press Control J, which duplicates my image. And I'm just going to hold shift and drag that across um, an inch or so. So then I'm going to click on the top layer, click on the bottom one, holding shift, and I'm going to right click. And I'm going to merge these layers together so then I can just move them together. So I'm going to rename my layers here because I need to keep myself organized when I'm doing these kind of things. And I think you should too. It's a good habit to pick up. Um... It just, it's really better than having to go through a hundred layers like I had to once and not being able to find what you're looking for. As I've, pro I've probably said many times before. So now I'm going to bring my nose into the Photoshop document. And to do so, I'm going to be using the mag magic wand tool. Sorry. And the magic wand tool, if you don't know what it does, what it does here is... Um, you see it's a bit darker here and then a bit lighter here. If I click on the dark part, it'll only select the dark part of it. You see there's this really, really white part almost here. Click on that and it only selects that, so it selects by color. So I'm just going to quickly click around there and grab it by Control c and then going into the con to the other document and pressing Control v So I'm going to press V on the keyboard and bring out my move tool just to expand that a bit position it just to be a good nose okay 
So now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab my mouth for my guy. Um, I'm going to be using this mushroom here because it works great. It almost looks like this right here is buck teeth on your guy, kind of, and it looks like it's separated right here. So you can use uh, the kiwi if you want. Or here, also, you can use a kiwi if you want. Um, you could use well, anything you want, but preferably use the mushroom. It just looks better, I think. So to do so, I'm going to use the quick selection tool for this one, just because it's easier. It selects it way faster and more. It captures the edges of the thing better. See, now I didn't adjust the size, so now I need to adjust the size of it. And I need to click on the subtract from selection. I just need to get rid of this little part here so I don't get any of the yellow. Then I'm just going to control C and going into my Photoshop document, I'm going to press control V. Grab my move tool. I am going to make it the size I want. Um, something like that looks pretty good, I think. Um, okay, so we got everything here. We got, you know, we got this general area here done. Still got to add this little bow tie, um, our ears, our eyebrows, and our hair. So let's get started on adding our bow tie. So control D. This one I would say zoom in fair uh quite a bit here. So I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool and what that does is when I click it makes straight lines. Like the lines don't curve or anything. It's just straight lines. So that's why I think it's good for this um photo here because there's these jagged edges here and really it's able to capture those edges very quite nicely actually for what we're going to be doing today so just click along here get all these edges you don't have to be perfect but you know just try and stay pretty close to what you're trying to do just, you know the better you get it the better it'll look and then along here because it's rounded just kind of click we're going to touch this up in a little bit here. I'm just kind of clicking like crazy and going along here. Okay, so then here I'm going to go back to what I was doing before. Oops, I messed up on that one there. I'll fix that after. Messed up there. Oopsies. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep on doing this. So this is, this one takes a little longer to select, but in the long run, it's just to make it look really crisp and clean uh, selection. See, I'm kind of going jagged here, but it's all okay because I will be fixing it now. So there's a couple edges here that I want to fix. Um, to do so, I'm going to grab my click selection tool. Have it on the uh, subtract from selection. I'm just going to click along here just a little bit. See, it did it too much there, so I'm going to just add to the selection again here. Okay, so I got this good section selection. There's a little edges here, but um, other than that, oopsies, it's pretty. Good. So I'm gonna press Control V C, and I'm gonna bring that into my Photoshop document and Control V. So I'm gonna hit V on the keyboard, just make it a bit bigger for my bow tie for my guy. I think maybe just a bit smaller, not too much, but just a little bit. Looks pretty good like that. And then now I'm going to add, <coughs> excuse me, my ears to the document. <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my quick selection tool to select the grapefruit ear. So I'm just going to bump the size. Okay, so what I really noticed that, and that really works well, um, with the quick selection tool for this grapefruit especially, is look, I'll click once here in the middle, and it selects this whole red middle area. I go to the white here, and I click once, and it selects the rest of the image for me. So it's a perfect selection for you. 
So I'm just going to control C that and go back into here and press control V. Press V again on my keyboard to bring out my move tool and then I'm just going to move it, get it a bit bigger. I'm going to rotate it just a bit here. Um, that looks pretty good, I think, actually, just maybe just rotate it just a teeny bit. Yeah, that's pretty good now. So I'm going to press Control J, and I'm going to click on the left, right side, sorry, and drag it to the left just until you see it. It'll kind of, like, snap, kind of like that, right there. Holding Shift, I am going to drag across, uh, something like that, okay? So now actually we need to go and name all of our layers because we for I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna name that nose. Okay, now for the ears, I'm gonna quickly merge them together by clicking on the top one, holding shift and click on the bottom. And then clicking merge layers. I'm gonna rename it. And then I'm going to click and drag that just below the head so it just looks um, more like ears on the side. And I'm just going to, on my uh, directional pad here, I'm just going to quickly hit it twice to the right. Okay, so we're pretty much finished. We just got to add our hair to the image, which we're going to be adding some eyebrows above the eyes and some nice hair for styling there. So we're going to be using these horseradish things here. Deselect that first. And I'm going to be using the quick selection tool. I mean, sorry, that magnetic lasso tool. Nope. Uh, sorry again. Magic wand tool. Duh. And uh, it's just easier. Just click like crazy, and it kind of just picks up everything nicely. You think it would be pretty hard, but it's not actually. Oops, I messed up there. You gotta make sure you don't click outside the picture, though. That's bad to do. Okay, so I got it selected. I'm going to control C to copy and then go in here and paste it. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard and I'm going to hold shift and just drag it out, make it a decent size. Um, maybe just a bit smaller because on the other side it's going to look a little big. It's just a little bit above the eye here. And then I'm going to press control J. I'm going to grab the left side and I'm just going to drag it till it clicks in a place right here. So you see they're the same size. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of position it again here to make it look good. And then that's pretty good I think there. And then now I'm going to just merge those layers together like we have been doing. Rename it again. Okay now to make my hair. I am going to press control V because I already have this selected. I'm going to make try and make it like the same size, if not a bit bigger, and then I'm just going to rotate it somewhere here like that. Press okay on the keyboard or I mean, sorry, enter on the keyboard and then control J, which will duplicate it, just move it over a bit. Control J again. Just move it over a bit. And then now I'm going to merge those three layers together. Now I'm going to press Control J. I'm moving three of them at a time. I'm just going to rotate it just a teeny bit so I kind of get that shape. The scalp here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just try and get it pretty close to being exact here. But, uh, cause the closer you get it to being exact, the better it looks, I find. Um, so I'm just going to merge those three layers together. Actually, first I'm going to add one more. Oopsies. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good for now. And then now I'm going to fix it up. by I'm just going to merge all those four layers together. And then now I'm going to press Control J. 
I'm going to grab this. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. I'm just trying to make it just look a little fuller, I guess, or however you want to say. Just so then you can kind of get it going to the same length on each side. And I'm going to press con uh, Enter, sorry, Control J again. I'm going to rotate it just a bit this way now. Okay, now that looks pretty good there. Just going to merge those layers together. Oops. I'm going to rename it hair. Okay, now I'm going to take this layer, and, I, and just like I did with the ears, I'm going to drag it below the head layer. So then it kind of does that. And then now I can kind of see here, there's a little more of this showing here than there, so I'm just going to kind of move it to the side here. Bring it down. I'm actually going to rotate it just a tad. So that looks pretty good. Um, so if you compare them before and after... Uh, there's just a little bit of difference, just the hair's a little different, um, but yeah, so that is how you use your selection tools on, in, uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements 10, thank you for watching, have a great day.